Welcome back to Speak Truth to Life with your host, Pam Osby. So, the last time I was here, we talked about, I guess, a, f- a few other things. And once again, we are back with a TikTok ban. This time, unanimously amongst parties, they came together, the congressmen and congresswomen, saying that they want a TikTok ban. They want it to be ran by a U.S. company. Basically, they want control of TikTok. They want to take the information from TikTok servers and take take it over to American servers. They want the money, y'all. This is not about trying to reduce TikTok videos and any of that. It's to control the narrative because TikTok allows all these people to come together on the platform and you got gen xers millennials gen gen z's talking about a variety of things you got people commenting about whatever they want to comment but if it's taken over by uh american company i think they're going to try to reduce a lot of the freedom that is attached to tiktok and for them to just make it about people dancing on tiktok videos no It's not about that. I think what these congressmen and women want is for people to not be able to congregate and be united together. On TikTok, everybody has more freedom. People are finding each other. They're educating each other. They're posting very important stuff. It's not just funny videos. You have a lot of entrepreneurs on TikTok as well. So I don't know what's going to happen with this ban, but they're trying to push this through. And I think it's a lot of older congressmen and women who don't understand uh, technology and what's being done. So what happened this week was the House Energy and Commerce Committee introduced a bill to pressure bite dance into selling TikTok. The legislation is called Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Control Applications Act. It would make it illegal for software with ties to U.S. adversary to be distributed within the country. And if it goes through, if the bill becomes law, Apple's App Store and Google Play could not legally distribute TikTok, okay? It will force ByteDance to sell TikTok within six months for the app to continue um, operating. Now, there was a large mass app message to all users um, of TikTok. 170 million Americans have the right to a uh, constitutional right to freedom, expression, and like I said, this uh, this committee with the 50 votes for this ban went through. So now, uh, prior to the vote, these committee members had a classified briefing with the FBI, the Justice Department, and Office of Director of National Intelligence um, at the behest of the Biden administration. Biden said he would sign the bill if it reaches his desk. If it passed, I'll sign it. So most likely, TikTok will be gone, y'all. Um, and it will go into American hands, which a lot of people don't like. I don't know what's going to happen. we going to see. I'll keep you posted. Let me know in your thoughts. Do you feel like TikTok is doing anything different than all these other American social media platforms and i can tell you on facebook where i've been on facebook for many years my information got compromised on facebook that's where my identity was compromised that's where my information was shared to third party unknown to me at the time third party individuals marketing companies and they sold my information just i mean so TikTok is no different than instagram and any of these other platforms that we've been used on a lot of people are trying to 
probably going to try to move from TikTok to probably Instagram. I don't, I'm not a fan of Instagram. And I, I don't, I don't feel the same way about Instagram that I do about TikTok. And also I hardly post on fa Facebook. I'm usually on YouTube or TikTok. So we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments. What do you feel about this potential ban?